Hello, how's everyone doing today? Uh, starting the video with my amazingly cute cat. So I decided to kind of pace myself when cleaning the playroom because I find this room to be really labor intensive. So I've split it into three main parts and then you've seen a couple other videos that should be posted by now, um, by the time I post this where I clean like those shelves and those are their, their own videos. So I think it's really important when you're cleaning to pace yourself because you can really easily get overwhelmed with like how much there is to do, especially when you're trying to deep clean a room. So I'm just going to get the first third of the playroom and then make a couple other videos to get the other two-thirds. And I think that that ended up being really good because this ended up being like a good length of time where I wasn't too burned out and it let me see my progress in a way of like, wow, this part of the playroom looks like really nice now. And that motivates me to want to go back and do more later. So I don't know. That's just kind of a psychological trick that I do for myself and maybe that works for you. I don't know, but I'm glad that I got this done. It, it also tends to be like the room that gets the dirtiest and I'd like to change that. But um, part of that is that like it's where the cats have all their stuff. So, um, you know, that that gets in the way as well of, of it staying clean. But I just have to be a little more ritualistic about um, sweeping up the litter every day and, and all that. But I think part of it's also like the dust that floats around the room just from like the cat litter and then all the cat fur because there are like little cat trees in here, et cetera. Their toy box where they come get their toys. So they spend a lot of time running around in here. And also like the, there's a lot of like kid stuff in here. So the like, when the kids come over to play or my daughter's playing, um, and things get kind of messy as well, which makes it harder to sweep up too if they don't put their stuff away. I was just uh, going through and uh, clipping out some of the parts where my shorts are starting to, to slip down a little bit. I realized that uh, these are some more shorts that I need to get rid of. And I think that's a little bit funny because I think I got these when I slimmed down a little bit. So it uh, looks like I slimmed down a little more. So... I need to um, put those in the, the Goodwill pile. I think I'm staying at like a reasonable, like healthy weight, which is so weird because like, I don't see it at all. I don't notice it at all. And I don't know if that's just my like difficulty with facial recognition and things like that. Um, if it's like tied into that or what, but I don't know. It's just hard for me to notice differences when they're not, like, dramatic. It's kind of funny. I saw someone today that I hadn't seen in, like, literally years, and she looked like she hadn't aged a day. It was just so weird. And then, like, the other people that I have seen, like, if I haven't seen them in a while, they look totally different to me. So, I don't know. It's kind of interesting how, how brains work like that. Uh, so I'm glad to be getting this table cleared off. It was kind of a mess just getting stuff like dumped on it. Um, I thought about using it as an art table. I think you'll see me later like even put uh, a little bit of like the, the water art supply stuff on it. The cup for the water when you're like, you know, rinsing it off for the paintbrushes. And then I'm like, eh, I'm not going to. So I just ended up keeping it clear. It has been a really good space, actually, when my daughter and I want to game together or something. So I'll bring my laptop out and use the table, and then she'll be at the other table. And hopefully in another video, I'll, I'll have that other table nice and clean. But that, that table had a lot of like paint on it, because she also uses it to paint, not just a game. The, uh, not the one I'm cleaning now, but that little uh, plastic one next to it and I think th this room is just a little bit crammed like there's just so many things in it and that's the problem with the the guest room as well is there's just so many different 
things that we all want those rooms purpose to be and yeah so just trying to fit everything in makes it a bit more difficult to clean all those rooms I'm like trying to set up the, the line where I start scrubbing and stop sweeping and then like get to that one third of the room line which is going to be a little bit further out I end up deciding but this is where I start this definitely needed scrubbing. There were spots from the cats. Yuck. So I'm glad to have gotten those up. Cats are pretty messy. That makes me really glad that we got rid of our carpets. We didn't have carpet in this room before, but we did in several other rooms in the house before my husband replaced all the flooring with this. And like th those cat stains just do not come out. Like their vomit just it stains it forever. Like we had professional cleaners and, and they couldn't even get it out so I don't know plus the the carpet just wasn't very comfortable and, and looked bad so we're happy how it is now makes it so much easier to clean and I don't even mind like getting on the floor and scrubbing it you know from time to time I probably will go back to to mopping once all the like hard stains are up it's just I haven't done like a thorough clean in so long that you know, some of those cat stains weren't coming up with just a mop. Plus, I didn't want to use my reusable mop pads on it because yuck. That little easel is actually great. Um, my aunt got that for my daughter when she was pretty young. And she's enjoyed it for a long time. It's got a chalkboard side, and then I'm going to turn it around and you'll see it's got a... It's like a, a whiteboard, but then you can pull a roll of paper down over it. So you can do painting, you can use it like a dry erase board, you can use the chalkboard, and it, it's just like a good, like long-lasting present if you're ever you know, looking for something that's going to last a long time for, um, for a kid. I think the uh, something the neighbor kid put up on there is still on that chalkboard. Some drawings of cupcakes and stuff. I still need to figure out what picture to put in that frame. Maybe I'll do that in the next video, or maybe the third. I don't know. But that little bar thing under the windows that sticks out, it's, it's useful, but it also collects a lot of dust and junk. Now I end up uh, talking with my aunt again. <laughs> It's great uh, talking to her while I'm doing these cleaning videos. It gives me something to focus on, something to do. It makes it a little more fun. I also need to um, clean up those outlets a little bit because when I painted this room, some of the paint got onto the outlets a bit. I uh, mean, you know, I didn't tape it perfectly. So that's something I'm going to need to go back and do a little bit. But, um,. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I'm trying to think of like what would be a good topic to address today with mental health. I think part of one thing that I could talk about is like I'm just really exhausted today, just emotionally drained. It was an emotionally draining kind of day, not because um, anyone did anything wrong, just some days are, you know, more draining than others. Kitty, hello, kitty. Sorry. Kitties are always priority, right? Anyway, I don't know. I think it's important for us to allow breaks for ourselves and, and find those ways to take breaks, which can be really hard. But then still also, like, I don't know. Do what you need to do, but like the, the minimum you need to do, you know, your, your responsibilities, etc. But then take breaks so that you can do like more of the things you enjoy and be more productive in the future. I still have to like think every time I said the word future because my daughter just hates the word future. And so I have to, <laughs> well, I don't have to, but um, to be nice, I avoid saying it because she hates the word future. But wow. It, it's just always like such a shock to my mind when I'm, I can finally say the word future and not 
not here. Don't say that word. <laughs> I don't like that word. I think we all have words like that, though. I think that's a really normal thing. Like, I really hate the word moist. Ugh, it just sounds so gross. Comment below. Tell me what, what are some words that just sound ick to you. I don't know. Maybe that's not a universal experience. Who knows? But I have found a lot of people that just find certain words to be gross. And my cat's like, what are you doing? You're cleaning up. You're cleaning up my mess. Well, you're cleaning up one of the cat's messes. You're making it too clean in here. What am I going to do without all this dirt? It's changing the smell. We've been reading this um, book series called Cheese Sweet Home, and it's also an anime, uh, Cheese Sweet Adventures. And I think it actually really helped my daughter like not humanize cats, like not assign human motivations to cats. I always remember when she was like really little, and the lights on a candle went out like the, the flame died and she immediately started like accusing the cat of stealing the flame she's like she stole the flame she put the fire out bad kitty and we had to like encourage her to watch a candle burn out so she could see that the cat didn't steal the flame that it you know it just it goes out on its own you know when it burns down <laughs> That was funny. And then, but yeah, she, she used to like assign, you know, motivation, negative motivations to them and then be angry at the cats of like, oh, he's, he's stealing my food on purpose. You know, if he goes, o if one of the cats goes over and like sniffs her food, bad, you know. So I think watching something where they're, they're not thinking like a human does, they're thinking like a cat does that really helped her so much to be you know, more kind and understanding toward the cats of like, Oh, the cat is, you know, swiping at this thing because it's dangling. And the cat is thinking, Ooh, play fun. It's a dangly thing. Or they're, you know, <laughs> trying to get food because that's just what cats do. And maybe the owners could have not taught the cat to eat at the table. That's the, that's what she's doing now. <laughs> she's like focusing her negative energy on the owners of Chi in the the books in the show, and she's like, "Bad owners. They shouldn't have gotten a cat," which is just kind of funny. So, yeah, it's just, she she points out like all the things they do. Like they feed the cat fried chicken, and they I don't know. They're not very smart about how they raise their cat. And they let their cat outdoors, which I know that's a touchy subject, but like first they let their cat outdoors a lot and then she gets all in all this trouble and gets uh gets sick from like eating some rancid meat because she's used to eating human meat and stuff. And then they are like, Oh, maybe we shouldn't let her outdoors and so they just trap her inside and then the poor cat doesn't understand why she can't go outside now. So overall, I just think that it's a really good teaching tool and it really helped her build up her empathy and like understanding of how cats think and work. Like, it, I don't know, it's, I don't know what their intention was, but from the way that it's affected her and her understanding of things and her ability to empathize with cats better, like it, it really seems like a masterful piece of work that they were able to do that and I know it's, it's like really childish I mean like I don't enjoy watching it as an adult but for kids I think I think it's a good way for them to understand cats better it's interesting to me like how people think of cats like a lot of people don't seem to understand them very well like I don't know they treat them like dogs or something there's this one part where he, the owner is trying to walk Chi, the cat, and um, like 
and people are walking by staring at him like why are you trying to walk this cat and like drag it and tug it instead of you know being nice well look i got it done so i think it's looking way better than it used to one third of the room is complete so thanks for joining me and i will see you for the next part